Hi and welcome to another lovely edition of Red Carpet Extra. I'm still your girl Ola right here on NTA International. And of course the Christmas season is still here. For me, maybe till like February before I remove all the things hanging in my house. Yeah, don't tell me that it's too long. I do what I please. I'm Ola. Now I am with a group. Yes, a group. Not a single person this time. And you know something for me, I like live performances and all. And because of that, I am going to make sure that they do one before they leave here. Do you want to know who they are? Well, watch this video and don't go anywhere. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your flight all the earth. Jesus and creation story. Come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. I'm sure you agree that that was a very lovely video. I mean, the five guys are right here, and I have so many questions for them. Okay, maybe they can't take all my questions. So off camera, I'm going to be doing some, you know, question and answer. You might not get to watch it. Anyways, so how long have you guys been together? Are you guys brothers? No, 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 definitely. I think we should let Chima answer that one. <laughs> all right. Um, this group started. Uh, Way back '96, under Coconut Tree Church, uh, it was exciting. Then we just uh, came together. I think about eight or nine of us, and um, it began as a hobby thing. You know, um, as time you know went on, you know, we were teenagers at that. As at that time, we you know gained uh, most of us gained admission into the University of Ibado. So. It was like, you know, in this image, you know, made an exodus to University of Ibado. We were very popular in <laughs> University of Ibado, yeah. and uh, <laughs> we had fun. But there was, I mean, practically no show we weren't, you know, at the uh, Christian uh, fellowship uh, programs, uh, birthday, you know, for, I mean, for uh, I mean, Christian students. It was, I mean, it was, it was fun. It was great. Um, I'll say things took a different turn in 2003, 2003. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That was when we, uh, would I say, came to limelight 
uh, into the Nigerian music industry. Um, MTN Play and Go. We featured on that first album alongside artists like Sonny Neji, Yinka Davis, Fatai Rolling Dollar, Raski Mono. Yes. Uh, it was Sonny you know, Neji. Yeah. <laughs> so that was what you know. I mean, introduced in his image into the spotlight. You know. So ever since then, um, we've just been doing what we know how to do best, singing. Hmm. That really sounds interesting. But for me, oh, you know the way my mind works? You guys have been... Don't worry, I'll tell you. You don't know. <laughs> no. You guys have been together and you're saying, oh, you know, we went from one place to another. I'm sure there will be quarrels. You have five. I mean, that's where the gist is. Weird. You guys need to tell me what's up. How did you stick together? What happened? Tell me incidences and you guys are still together. You know, don't tell me the, you know, the candy part. I like to hear the, you know, the whole gist. Truth is, over the years, there's been a lot of candy parts, like you call it, but trust me, anybody who's been in the group will tell you it's not always easy. I mean, the for in his image five guys five different traditions you know beliefs upbringings there have been times where every one of us argues because everybody wants to put his points down and let everybody see oh this is the way it should go no this is the way this is the key no this is the key you are wrong you're right you know but one way or the other because we all know that the group and it's one thing we remind ourselves in his image is bigger than any one of us so there's a respect for the group and the group's direction. And that's one thing that has always held us together. As long as we know that we're out to minister and we're here to save lives, we keep it together. And that's what has held us for so many years. Well, it's an interesting, you know, part of it also. I, I would, on a normal day, love to pester you about, you know, what exactly situations, things, but... I'll be partial. Yes, I'll be partial. Because I, <laughs> this particular guy, I, you know, we go way back. Yeah. And let Ola just be partial. Because they don't, they don't seem to know me. <laughs> but, you know, let's reserve that Ola till maybe after you the program or towards the end. You, but really, we'd love to know you. We'd like to know you. Mm -hmm. So let's know who you are. <laughs> I don't know where you want me to start from. For real. And you know what? Because I, I am the one sitting here and I get to ask the questions. Oh, yeah. Links did his. Gears did his. I'm not answering any question for now. I will okay. answer later. Yes, I can do that. <laughs> now, because you asked me that question, number one, listen very carefully. Number one, what's your position like in the group? Where do you find yourself? Why did you join the group and why are you still there? And I'm coming back to your relationship. I'm not asking anything. Hey. Yes. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah. You know, what, you know what? I love that. And I think I want my guys to give you a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. That's a very good one. First of all, I, I, I occupy a very, very key position in, in IHI. And um, funny enough, in IHI, no one is above the other. So I am key. Emeka is key. Uzo is key. Chima is key. And Lighton is key. So I'm a very key member of this group. <laughs> Concerning, um, and I joined. IHI because um, over the years I have I've been in groups and I've heard IHI I mean a couple of times several times million and one times I love the sound signature and um, for a long time I've been trying to I don't want to leave singing so when the opportunity came for me to be a part of IHI I didn't have to second guess about it I just joined it because I know it's a forward-looking group. It's, it's a group that, that is um, always on the move, moving somewhere, going somewhere. It's a forward-looking group. Because now, concerning relationships, I'm not going to give you stories. You know, because I know when it comes to groups, male artists, you know, that's one part that a lot of people want to hear. But I'm going to summarize it with this, like this. God has had my prayer in relationships. And it gave me a very wonderful, loving, pretty... I mean, mm. when I say pretty, you need to see her. Mm. I mean, a very, very beautiful, wise, and humble woman. In case you want to know further, her name is Adi Ito Adewe. Mm. She got married, and I had the right, just like you had the right to ask me this question, I had the right to change her name to Dosomo. Mm. A very beautiful woman. That's the mother of my child. <laughs> 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 I mean, that, that's it. I, are you satisfied now? Cool. 
In fact, I won't say anything. Not because I don't want to, but that love part just trips me anytime. So I will keep quiet. <laughs> Imagine, Ola will keep quiet <laughs> for the first time in history. Wow. Now, I have another question. I won't, you know, I won't bother you guys a lot because I still have time after, you know, the whole you know, recording to bother you. So I want to know, if you weren't singing, or what else do you do apart from singing, and if you weren't doing that, what would you be doing? You know, you can answer for yourself, you can answer for the group, but I think because you guys already know each other, so what would life be like for you? Okay, apart from singing, um, I'm into education. I write books, I'm an author of books, and I help to mentor people. I like mentoring people. That's also what is fine in my books trying to make things a lot, lot easier for people. Okay. And that's what we have as our goal too. The next 50, 40 years, even if we're not saying it, we would have mentor people to be in that line. Right? So basically, in this image, it's about helping people believe in themselves. We help you know that what you know you have, you can do, you can do it. In the next 40, 50 years, we may not be singing, but try to make people come up and believe in themselves, basically. That's what we are for. Now, of course, I still have much more questions for them. I always have questions. But before I go into that, I do not want to miss the red carpet moment. I want you guys to just enjoy this because it was fun for me and I got to quiz some people on smiling. You know, is this nice season for you to laugh and all that? Because some people are just spoiled, you know, spots. They don't want to laugh. And if you don't laugh in this Lagos with traffic and everything, I don't know what's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. So enjoy yourself and don't go anywhere. On this edition of Red Cabin Moment, we are at the premiere of yours beautiful, beautiful movie. I mean, it's just old-fashioned smiles, of course, comedy. Is smile an essential thing? That's part of what I want to know, not just outfits. So don't go away. Very simple but beautiful. Thank you. Now for this season, I won't, I won't go into fashion. I want to know what the what you think of laughing and smiling in this season, apart from just looking good generally. It makes the heart fonder and it makes you younger actually. So it's a good thing. And with all the tragedy and a lot of things happening around us, okay. we can do but you know a little bit of laugh and fun. Okay. It just help us lift up our spirits and all of that. So it's a good thing. Okay. So smile. That smile is really tempting. <laughs> I love your outfit. Thank you. Now, before I say, normally I'm all about fashion, but what I want to know is, what's the importance, because it's Christmas season, what's the importance of laughter and smile to crown off the whole fashion sense for people this season? I think laughter, you should laugh all year through. Laughter brings out something from the inside of you, and that is when you truly laugh from the heart. It heals you, it, it makes you feel good, it makes you accepted, loved by people. Laughter is just a beautiful thing, <laughs> even if it's just a smile. Okay, so smile. <laughs> I don't know the difference now. <laughs> yeah, he tried to escape, and I think it was because of that yours stuff. And we're right here, still with your again. So what happened that day after you told us that very terrible secret about your? <laughs> ah, they almost caught my salario. <laughs> but thank Jehovah, the Lord fight for me. The Lord fought my battle. And they didn't do anything. So I can say anything now. But I won't say it. Because I'm in a good mood. I don't want to say anything. Okay. Now, we're not going to ask you a lot of questions because mm. you're already showing your teeth. How important is it to laugh for people in this season? Nah, it's very important, Paul. Hi. You know, do you have importance? You now have important, Paul. Mm. You are going to miss Kobo the two. Laughing is very good, though. My brother. Those way do but do you they speak English. They say if you squeeze face, mm. you get how many muscle. Mm. Where well, they do for your face. But if you laugh, the muscle is going to use your face or oh, nobody small. And it will ginger your spirit. Mm. Your spirit will not be buff tooth, buff tooth, hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Life will be better. Mm. I'm telling you. Smile. <laughs> I don't smile. Thank you. Abby, God bless you. Make sure you come to fellowship tomorrow. Oh, definitely. Come on, my brother. Nadu. And know song. You can see The maker tell us the truth. The truth is that the good, the bad, the ugly, as the people that are looking forward to make the country to the next level, be like as you are. Yes. I now know the quite. I now know never quite. But quite, I know the conjunction of the interaction of the combustible. Now you know. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. People are looking forward to talk about the concomitality and the humanity of the nation. So at the end of the day, you now find that. People are looking forward to go into the loo and then look my is not put on the you know, no, you know, no, yes, the parents of the people of the power, exactly. the combustible, absolutely, and the inter, absolutely, like a waster, absolutely, everything will come together, absolutely. I'm sure you enjoyed that. Of course, we didn't end up catching your as his own event, but we caught his guests and it was fun. So I'm sure you agree with what they said, or at least some of them. And you saw the smile, tried to smile, they laughed instead. So now I can go back to drilling my guests. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what? Everybody always gives me some particular expression like she's going to do something terrible. She's not doing anything terrible. I'm going to ask something serious. I'm serious. Mm. Okay, so my question is, if, for instance, if you look at, everybody says, oh, this is what we'll be doing in the next five years. But I want you to look back and then towards what in his image is. I should be laughing because they're <laughs> trying to make me laugh. <laughs> Imagine they're trying to distract me. I'm not distracted. What was in his image like then? And what are you guys like now? Where are you in the scheme of things? And where do you see yourself maybe in the next five years, ten years? Go. I joined in his image about, um, about a year ago, last year, December. And it's been so much fun. But it was a bit, it was a bit, I have to think about it a lot because I just left another group and to join in his image. It was a bit of a toss for me, but I sat down to really study these guys and I realized that these were men that had decided to write their stories on the sands of history. And so I joined. And I, um, with the way we are moving, I see us in the next five years to have um, built institutions where we would groom people and then have a vocal statement written on the sands of, um, do I say history again? I just think this world needs in this image. And that's what we're here to do, stamp our statement on the ground. That is what we're here to do. Who is the clown in the group? Because I don't, don't tell me that everybody is that serious. Now, you're serious as in obviously in front of people. But there will be a clown in this group. I want to know who that clown is. Who's the clown? Well, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every, everybody everybody yeah, comes. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. try as much as possible to make people laugh, you know. We could be saying something very serious, you know, we have to do that, you know, and you know it's a, a mixture of different guys from different backgrounds, so I'm Yoruba, I try to imitate the Igbo sometimes, Kah, shut up, what are you talking about there? Let's, <laughs> let's talk about something else. Oh, I, I joke with Chima's name, I call it, ah, Chima, let us go and sit down there. <laughs> you know, sing your part, you're not singing your part now, you'll be complaining, you need to put you there, everybody will just be <laughs> But I promise you. <laughs> you know. And funny enough, Chima does the same sometimes. He tries, you know, we just basically just have fun in the group. And you should be in one of our rehearsal sessions. It's so much fun. Yeah. If you hear Uzo do his bass, and you, know, you understand how much fun it is. Mm. Mm. I know you guys have stuff that you're working on other than what we've watched with YJ and all that. Yeah. And I am going to throw a challenge out there very soon. Before I throw out that challenge, I want them to talk about it because I know there are a lot of people that are going to be doing, you know, collaborations with you guys. Yeah. And, of course, there's stuff you're working on that is, like, piping hot. Mm. And when I say it's hot, you know now. You know, I know what's up. So when I tell you it's hot, it's hot like that. So I'm going to let you people gist us about what you guys are working on, you know. Before the Christmas jingle and album came out, 
you know, we had recorded a song featuring Jeannie called Love You They Go. That's yeah. the one that's playing on air now. I go, they love you, they go. Love you, they go. And people really, really love it, you know. Yeah. It, it came out as a different twist to IHI. And people were like, wow, so these guys can actually sing, you know, this kind of music and stuff. And, you know, we're working on big collabs, really, really big collabs right now. We're going to, we, we had a collab with um, Corey. On this track, Hallelujah, a uh, while ago. And um, we're going to be working with some other artists we're not going to let out yet. Uh, definitely Love You, The Goals video should be out as well. Coming soon, Hot in the Pipeline. The album should be released February, March-ish. And uh, it's going to feature producers like Kobam Sasukwa, Roti Miyaki Fenwa, or light on that, da, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, a, a, a great, it's going to be a fun-filled, you know, lovely album and soothing to the ears. We are not going to do any marching music, I call it. The be, be, be. Uh, you're, gonna, <laughs> you're really going to enjoy music as music should be. We promise you that. So that's all the gist. Because I like the gist part. Is that, is that it? Because you guys are hiding some of these people that will be doing stuff with you. But of course they're hiding it, so I guess they will still give me some gist, but that is also a quiz for you. You can follow Wome HVS and tell us who you think they will be doing collabs with. If you get it right, I'm not, I'm not the one promising you. If you get it right, they will do something. Hmm. What they will do, I will, leave you, I will reveal it when you win. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what? If there's no gist, then let me know so that we can move on. Well, aside uh, our recording and album project, um, Nigerians are going to see more of in his image come 2013. Um, we're going to be doing concerts. We're going to be doing shows. Uh, to all of us of good music around Nigeria, we're saying, get ready. We're about to blow your minds. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. Uh, acapella music is here to stay. And uh, we're not just doing a couple of, I mean, there's going to be a combination of, you know, different uh, genres, you know, and like we said in the initially, uh, we're going to be collaborating with, you know, various artists, uh, you know, across the industry. Uh, it's, it's going to be great. Come to 13. So. I'm going to let them end the gist there. Even though I believe that there's still more gist to be heard. But let's just leave them. Now, of course, I am going to watch my weight. It's part of my New Year resolution for 2013. <laughs> but in the meantime, you know that it's not like I love food too much, but I love, you know, nice food. So I want to know if they can cook. Don't you? They're all guys now. They should be able to cook. Who can cook? <laughs> well, talking about cooking, I think I should be doing raw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I cook very well. Um, I love good food. Uh, I know how to cook. Why are you talking but, about yourself? We all cook, <laughs> cook. Everybody here. Yeah, we all cook. Yeah, but, like, uh, very well. yeah, I don't mind <laughs> <laughs> We all cook. Yeah. yeah. We can bring our wives to testify. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we all do. You heard that. They all can cook. But someone is like the champion when it comes to food. So I have how many Saturdays? One Saturday, one Saturday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know. So I have like some weeks. I will just go around five guys, so a whole month is done plus one. <laughs> nice. Before I start my diet, you know. <laughs> now, I want to let you listen to them sing because it would not be complete if it's not live and direct, no editing, none of those stuff. And of course, I will step out so they can do their stuff. And until I come away again next week, I remain Ola. Have a lovely, lovely celebration. Ciao. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him.